Hey everybody, this is Super Sonic Super Mario Fan 350 and I'm trying to get this stupid camera to stay up. So this might take a little bit. Stay! Good. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall over. It gets, if it falls over, I'm gonna get so mad. Okay, cause this is like the eighth time I'm redoing this review. Oh my god. Uh, this is a, my first review on the Sonic the Hedgehog's Sonic the Hedgehog, Jazz Wars, Sonic the Hedgehog, get it trigger! Holy crap! Okay, I just wanna get this figure, this review done very quickly so I can review other stuff about the stupid camera falling over. Um, first, before we review the figure, we're gonna go into artic- oh, not articulation. We're gonna go into sculpt, articulation, uh, pros and cons, uh, where to buy, uh, where to buy, how much it is, and final score. Uh, kind of doing it like Super Mario fan. I mean, Super Mario fan. Uh, Super Sonic. One, nine, seven. Well, one, four. One, four, seven. Oh, sorry, I was, uh, sorry, I got those off. Okay. This review is, yeah, and I'm kind of doing it like, I'm doing it almost the same as Super Sonic 1497. So, let's get it on. Okay, first, we get the figure. See, the box is amazing. Got Sonic the Hedgehog on the front, and you can see him. Safety tested. Um, so, let's open up this stupid figure. I'm just kidding, it's not stupid. Well, everyone I saw at Toys R Us, well, you see, before I start that, it's a lid open like that. That's amazing. And also the back of the thing, so... Oh my god, please stand. Okay. They're Sonic. Kind of the wrong way, though. Hey, though. Uh, my Sonic the Hedgehog 10 inch figure. Uh, before I start, when I went to Toys R Us to look for it, I immediately zoomed in through the doors, right down to the action figure aisle, and looked for the Mario figures, and I saw this guy almost immediately. I went insane and. Picked up the box and I was like, okay, I'm getting this. My mom was like, really, you're getting this? I thought you were getting Legos or car stuff. I'm like, well, I did get some car stuff. I only got like two things. Who's these guys? I only have like four things from cars, too. That sucks. Actually, you know what? Five things. Um, but I, got, I, got, I just got off talk of it topic but i got this figure um they did have a bunch of other three inch figures they didn't have a bunch of six i mean five six inch figures so i didn't get any of those they only like the sonic colors then they had the super poser sonic uh and tails i did not get those i got sonic because i wanted sonic for a long time this 10 inch sonic it's like oh okay enough of that stuff i'll talk to you more about that a little bit later of this video maybe towards the end uh so let's go to our um no articulation. Let's go into detail. I actually skipped a lot of that stuff I said. Let's go into sculpt. Amazing sculpt. This figure is amazing. You can see he has that little line right there. And his eyebrow or eyelid. And he got his two eyes, which are perfectly painted. Yeah. Or almost. Uh, his... Oh, he's gonna fall over. His... I'm gonna actually move over here without knocking over the camera. Uh, amazing fist. He's got a thumbs up this time because he's saying, yeah, go buy me, I'm awesome. I'm like the best figure out there. Next time, McFarlane. Uh, you got uh, his nice fist of punching action. Uh, his awesome feet, his buckles. And... His treads, pretty cool. I like the three-inch versions treads; they look really cool. They didn't get the back right, but it's not something I would care about. Just like, just like Super Sonic 1497. Um, perfect pitch, perfect nose. Not perfectly centered, but I don't really care. The ears are perfect. Uh, you can see that they were kind of painted slash spray painted on. The back looks amazing. Uh. So, yeah, now let's go on to articulation. Uh, first articulation, anything anybody would know this, his head goes 360 degrees. Uh, and he does, it doesn't go up and down, just turns 360 degrees and comes side to side. It cannot go up and down, and I'm so happy they did this. No quill movement. 
Just like in the uh, Toy Island series. Oh, and also left something out. We're also going to do that. I also left something out. We're going to do size comparison. So, yeah, that, that's actually at the end though. But uh, really nice. I like. It's kind of a soft-ish rubber. Made like the like the Toy Island ones. I have them with me. Wait, if you would stand up. Um, nice figure. Yeah. Now, his arms can go up and down, and they can bend forward and backwards. They can go in and out, bend at the elbow, rotate at the wrist, and flex at the wrist. Like, give me your money. Give me your money. Um, also, on the other one, I like this thumb. Thumbs up for Sonic. Uh, his, his, at the actually lower waist. 360 looks like a penis. <laughs> 360. Sorry about that uh, comment I just did. Uh, don't comment about that. Uh, yeah, 360 degrees with his waist. Very lower waist. It's This is basically a, three, a giant 3-inch figure. That's all I'm going to say for that. Uh, legs can go in, up in, in and out like that. They can, can turn on 360, just like a 3-inch. Uh, you can... Oh, this thing isn't working right. Oh, wrong way. You can bend at the knee, really good, and you can rotate at the ankle, stupid thing, and you can flex at the sock, pretty nice. Uh, this figure is extremely awesome, it has over 12 points of articulation, uh, probably only about, stand, there you go, this looks good, but uh, yeah. Next, we're going to, uh, I just did, okay, now let's go to pros and cons. Uh, I don't know if I did the detail. Oh, wait, I did the sculpt, and the detail and sculpt are mixed together if I didn't say do detail. Just the articulation, now pros and cons. Okay, the, I'm going to go to the cons first. Okay, immediately there is no cons on this figure, except for him being almost top-heavy and toppling over. That's the only problem I have with this figure only problem. My, I'm doing a review. Sorry, my little sister came in. Come on, shut the door, my. All the way. Thank you. Okay, so. Treads look amazing. His shoes are plastic, but the rest of him is like, is like that regular three inch, what the three inch stuff is made of. And, except for the heads, like the toy island figure, so that's kind of like a soft stuff. Uh, now into the pros. Everything about this is good. His arms look like they should, rather than the three-inch figure, how chubby it is. And the legs look like they should when they get thin and get bigger towards the bottom. And Sonic doesn't want to stand because he doesn't want to listen. Okay, uh, now to, uh, boxes and where to buy. I'm going to put them over on the ground and get the box up. Okay, here is the box. Very big. I can't show the whole thing because my camera will fall over. Uh, on the top it says warning. Let me get it. It says a warning. Got a little hook thing so you can hook it on your shelf or something for show. And the box doesn't want to stay in because it wants to be a little turd and not. Okay. And you got the inside. You see those holes in the back where the twist ties used to be. On the side you got... I think it's Sonic from Adventure, t Adventure 2. I don't know. I could be wrong. Just comment saying what game it is. And they redesigned his shoes. It says Sonic the Hedgehog. Age 6. Sonic the Hedgehog. 10-inch figure over 12 points articulation. Sorry if you can see that. Jazz wears logo. Sonic again. Back's opening up. Ah. Picture Sonic the Hedgehog. Pretty big. And it says his bio. I'm going to read it. And also Sonic the Hedgehog down here. It says Sonic the Hedgehog capable of traveling with the speed of sound. Sonic is known for his speed, confident confident attitude, and readiness for any types of adventure. A true hero. He calls upon all his skills to save the world from a Dr. Eggman. Sonic has a big heart and is always ready to help those in need. So box very nice. has that grid look and it kind of changes color. Very nice. It's a giant 3-inch figure. Yeah, <laughs> I just said that. Safety tested. That's the box. Next, um, I'm gonna talk about where to buy. You can buy these online. You can buy these on eBay. I wouldn't go for eBay. You can buy these on Amazon. You can buy these at Toys R Us, ToysRUs.com. 
and some other gay um, websites. Are they uh, maybe some comic book stores you can go and buy him. I'm not sure if you can do that. Uh, I think you can buy him off comic book websites. Uh, if you go in for that, make sure you look at the Toys R Us or any other website before you buy him, because you could get ripped off. Also with eBay, you could get ripped off. The main price I would go to is ten to seventeen dollars. If it goes anywhere above that, uh, or anywhere below that, but it looks in perfect shape from the pictures, buy it. But if it's above eighteen dollars, I wouldn't go for it because you're kind of getting ripped off. But yeah, so. Amazing figure, amazing sculpt. Uh, now on to my final score. My final score is Pitch Perfect 10 out of 10. It's amazing, only one flaw to it. Actually, no, no flaws to it. It's Pitch Perfect. Uh, now, let's size comparison time. Uh, I'm going to get one figure down. It's my Toy Island Tails. I think they fit. Sonic, please don't fall over. I swear to God, if you fall over, I'm gonna murder. Uh, just gonna hold him up. Yeah. What do you think? Is it is that perfect size? Is it? I don't know. Is it perfect size? I don't know. I think they fit perfect. Now, next is him next to his three-inch partner. Oh my god. And next to a standard small Mario. Oh, that's a Japanese import, you're actually, if you're wondering. Yeah, he's pretty big. But overall, 10 out of 10, amazing figure. Go buy it, it's just amazing. So, pretty, that's pretty much it. Look out for more reviews, request uh, some reviews. Request if you want to, if you saw those toys in the back, request those. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Super Mario, Super, Super, Super Mario Fan 350 signing off.